Hey guys, it's Ricardo and I'm back here on the Watch With Us channel with a review of the latest piece in the Joseph Bulova Bulova collection and that is the newest chronograph pieces. Now these chronographs you get an option of two versions. You have a black and gold version as we see pictured over here to the right and this silver dial version here that's in my hands in for review. Now, if we're going to go over some of the specs that are basically the same um, between the two watches, both watches will come in at 42 millimeters, and that's from here to here. You have a lug to lug from here to here of 48 millimeters, case thickness from the top of this domed sapphire crystal to the bottom of the case is 15 and a half millimeters. Inside, you have ticking a Salita SW500 movement, beating at 28,800 beats per hour. If we go back here to the front of the watch, you'll see that the layout is a classic three register layout. At 12 o'clock, you have the 30 minute counter. At six, you have the 12 hour counter. At 9, you have your running seconds. At 3 o'clock, you have Bulova Automatic 1875 with your day and your date. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that these hands are indeed blued, and that's for all six hands here. So at the 12, the 9, and the 6, as well as the hour and minute hand and the chronograph hand as well. What you'll also notice as I get close here is that on the rehote right here you have the telemeter scale is all in blue. Now in terms of the case, case is all polished all surfaces. If we go here to the case back, you'll see it says Joseph Bulova 1875. This is a sample piece, so it's not numbered, but for all the regular pieces, they're going to be numbered a number out of 350. If you go here, you see that this is a deployment clasp. You get a leather strap which is 22 millimeters here at the case and tapers down to 20 millimeters here at the buckle. Now in terms of the functions, here if you click at two, chronograph hand starts to move, that stops, that resets, Crown is not screwed down, so all you have to do is, in this first position, without moving, is winding. If you click out, you'll then be able to move your day. If you go counterclockwise, if you go clockwise, you'll be able, able to move the date. And if you move all the way out, you'll be able to move your time. We're going to click that back in. Now that covers the specs for this watch. And now I'm going to delve into some of my thoughts on the watch. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on the negatives. Um, and really I have about three. One negative for me is I feel like all these edges on the watch are kind of soft. They're not really defined. Um, I would have much rather some more defined edges. Another thing I would have um, loved to see on this watch is maybe a little bit more decoration on the movement. If you look here, the movement is, is really bare bones. Um, there's more decoration on the case back than you'll see in the movement. So I think, you know, for a chronograph that's bearing, um, Joseph Bulova's name, I think they, they could have gone and did a little bit more decoration. 
And for me, the last thing is the dial is silver, but your date will is basically a black on white date will. Um, and it really stands out. Um, I, I much would have rather a, a different option if they could have did maybe blue on white, just something special. Cause you know, these are special, they're limited editions, just a little something to kind of, you know, pop a little bit on this watch. As for my positives, um, definitely first thing is those beautiful blued hands. I mean, it's nice to see them incorporated on all the hands. Uh, most of the time, you, your hands are going to almost seem black, um, depending on the angle. But when they catch the light and you get that nice blued color, it's really a beautiful thing to see. Speaking of the hands, definitely a fan of overall the dial, of course, minus the date will. I think the dial was done really well. It's a simple dial. That silver color really pops. I um, really like it on this watch. And another thing, and I'm going to kind of pop this on the wrist to really show you guys. Uh, it's a nice thing to have. It's something that on a, I think a lot of companies make a mistake on when it comes to their chronographs is the short lug to lug on this watch. So that short lug to lug allows this watch to wear really well. If you see it on my wrist, you don't get that overhang, um, nice little curve. Yes, it's tall, but what the short lug to lug does is it really allows the watch to sit really nicely on the wrist. Now, in terms of pricing for this, the watch comes in at 2,495 US dollars. Um, it's definitely a, in a very competitive feel. I think there are a lot of other chronographs that have non in-house movements that are really around this realm. So there are a lot of options here. I mean, there is the added benefit of this kind of being a signature Joseph Bulova piece, but, and the fact that it's limited, but I, I have to admit that, you know, there are a couple competitors out there in that price range. But that covers it for today's review of the Joseph Bulova chronograph. If you guys have any questions, any comments, um, definitely drop them below in the comment section. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the watch, of course, ask any questions, but, uh, that's it for us today. I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys next week with another review on the channel. Bye guys.